Okay, so got back from running today in the colder weather and wanted to give you guys a look before cleaning up and doing some basic foot care here. So you can see there's redness and something with running in the cold weather is um, it takes a second to warm up and before your blood starts pumping and you're all warmed up you can do some damage and not feel it because it's so cold outside. So, let's take a look at the other one here. Good. Just a little bit dirty. So, I thought I would do something kind of cool since the weather is changing. I had a question on my Facebook page, Ram Phil. And Phil asks, um, I'm up to a kilometer now and I've noticed that there is a trail of newly paved road, um, newly paved road on my trail, so I have a smoother run. Okay, only problem is that now it's getting cold up here. Is there a temperature limit that I shouldn't go out in? Keep up the good work and inspiration. Okay, so Phil, um, you can run in colder temperatures, and again, like I said, unless you've warmed up first, you can do damage and not be able to feel it until your feet do warm up. So before you leave the house, a good rule of thumb is to get your blood pumping first. So do some jumping jacks, um, do some jogging in place. It'll loosen up the muscles, it'll flex the ankles and get those ready, but it'll also get the blood pumping in your body. And when the blood is pumping in your body, it's also going down through your feet, and that'll keep your feet really warm. So, um, in the colder weather, I go out in the running pants, either a big hoodie or a jacket. Um, I recommend a scarf, something that's going to keep the breath warm too, until you start getting warmed up. Um, so that you don't do any damage in the first part of your run if it's really chilly outside. Uh, also, see the coldest thing I've run in, um, last year I ran in snow for a bit and it was deep snow so that wasn't a very, very good idea um, and I didn't make it very far in the deep snow. Now I've seen videos and I'm going to try this year um, running through the snow when it's nice and flat and it's not very deep. Um, and of course you can always run in the Vibrams, but if you are totally barefoot, um, and I do recommend starting out totally barefoot, um, be sure to warm up before leaving the house running in colder weather. And as long as it's clear and as long as it's dry, you should be really good if you warm up first. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this little video and I plan on answering um, a lot more questions. So if you asked questions through YouTube or through Facebook, I've been pulling all those together and I'll be answering them here. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this little video.